Welcome to my channel. It is food for H N M. I am your friendly, friendly neighborhood Holy Bible explainer. Today we are reading Joshua seven. The section is titled Achan's Sin or Achan's Sin. But the Israelites were unfaithful. They weren't cheaters. They didn't cheat on their wives. It's unfaithful in regard to the devoted things. So the Israelites have attacked and destroyed the city of Jericho and all the people and animals in it and they burned the entire city down but there were precious precious things like made of silver and gold iron and bronze for example and those things went into God's treasury so Achan or Achan son of Carmi son of Zimri the son of Zerah of the tribe of Judah took some of them, so the Lord, that's Jesus, that's God, the Creator, his anger burned against Israel, all of Israel. Now Joshua, Yehoshua, sent men from Jericho to A, A I, A, which is near Beth Avon, to the east of Bethel, and told them, Go up and spy out the region. So the men went up and spied out I. When they returned to Joshua, they said, Not all the army will have, have to go up against A. Send two, send two or three thousand men to take it, and do not weary the, the whole army, for only a few people live there. So about three thousand went up, but they were routed by the men of A, who killed about 36, 36 of them. They chased the Israelites from the city gate as far as the stone quarries and struck them down on the slopes. At this, the hearts of the people melted in fear and became like water. Then Joshua, Yehoshua, remember he's the general of the army of God. The Israelites' army. He tore his clothes. You know, he was angry. And fell face down to the ground before the ark of the Lord. So he he went into... <laughs> the ark of the Lord is not just sitting in a garage somewhere. Uh, they, remember, uh, you have to watch my earlier videos. They created this tent within a tent. Uh, there was something called the tabernacle, and it had a court had a courtyard. Within the courtyard, there's an altar. There are many things, all holy things. So Joshua is also like a high priest because the ark the ark of the Lord actually is an area, an, an inner area of this tent called the holy of holies. So he went right into there where the Holy of Holies was. And then he, he fell face down. So he was on his knees. And he remained there till evening. evening. So remember, that only the high priest usually can go into the Holy of Holies. And only like once a year usually. And he must go in with these bells on him. And uh, he has to go in... Have, uh, burning the ketoret, which is the sacred incense. The elders of the Is of Israel did the same. They didn't go in there, but they also fell face down and fell face down to the ground and sprinkled dust on their heads. So they were very upset, all of them. And Joshua, Yehoshua said. Alas, Sovereign Lord, why did you ever bring this people across the Jordan to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us? 
only we had been content to stay on the other side of the Jordan. So Joshua, Yehoshua is a military officer. I think he is speaking in code. He's uh, making a reference to the people who died in the desert. They spoke just like this. You have to watch uh, an earlier video. Perhaps he's saying that the, the sons of the people that died in the desert, you know, are they the reason we're losing? You know, are these losers causing us to lose? If, if pardon your servant, Lord, what can I say? Now that Israel has been routed by its enemies, he's saying, Lord, that's what I, I think it's those guys. And the Canaanite, Canaanites and the other people of the country will, will hear about this, that we lost, we have a loss. You know? And they will surround us and wipe out our name from the earth. What then will you do for your own great name? The Lord said to Joshua, Yehoshua, stand up. What are you doing down on your face? This is God, the creator, the second person of the Godhead. Jesus is the Lord. So that's a spoiler alert. Now at this point in the time, it's way in the past before he came 2,000 years ago. As the God man, you know, he was. Um, remember, Joshua is in the Holy of Holies, kneeling before this, the Ark of the Covenant, which is a gold overlaid container with these two kadosh malachim, these um, holy winged. You know, somehow I think that they were made of gold, and then somehow those two things were like the angel of God and the angel of the Lord. It's like defies logic. And above them, somehow, like there's, I've never seen it, but uh, Joshua, Yehoshua could probably see it, you know, and he's talking. It's a large rectangular container, and then somehow God's right there, and he just talks to him. And God nicely probably says, stand up, stand up. What are you doing down there? Israel has sinned, not you. They have violated my, my covenant, which I commanded them to keep. They have taken some of the devoted things. Because Joshua didn't know that. They have stolen, they have lied. They have put them with their own possessions. That is why the Israelites cannot stand against their, their enemies. That's why he lost. They turn their backs and run because they have been made liable to destruction. I will not be with you anymore unless you destroy whatever among you is devoted to destruction. Go, consecrate the people. Tell them, consecrate yourselves in preparation for tomorrow. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. There are devoted things among you, Israel. You cannot stand against your enemies until you remove them. So remember, devoted things are completely either given to the Lord, right? So, like you, I don't know why, but they could be so toxic, for lack of a better word, that only God can like handle them for you, you know? You know, like he has a hazmat suit on, and well, he's omnipotent, you know? So, he's like, let me just hold the, that's very, very bad for you. Let me just hold, you know? Devoted things are either you give them to the Lord, totally give them over to God, right? So he'll hold it for you because He's powerful, you know what I mean? He can protect you from them. Or you completely destroy them. He said, the reason why you guys are losing is you, among your camp, some, some of the people have taken them. 
and they have them. In the morning, this is verse 14. Verse 14, present yourselves tribe by tribe. The tribe the Lord chooses shall come, come forward, clan by clan. The clan the Lord chooses shall come forward, family, family by family. And the family the Lord chooses shall come forward, man by man. Whoever is caught with the devoted things shall be destroyed by fire. You're going to burn him. Along with all that belongs to him, he has violated the covenant of the Lord and has done an outrageous thing. In Israel. Early the next morning, Joshua had Israel come forward by tribes, and Judah was chosen. The clans of Judah came forward, and the Zerahites were chosen. He had the clan of the Zerahites come forward by families, and Zimri was chosen. Joshua had his family, Yehoshua had Zimri's family come forward, man by man, and Achan, or Achan, son of Carmi, the son of Zimri, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah was chosen. Then Joshua, Yehoshua said to Achan, or Achan, my son, give glory to the Lord, the God of Israel, and honor him. So he's like, don't lie, you know. Because of the Lord, tell me what you have done. Do not hide it from me. Achan, or Achan, replied, It is true, I have sinned against the Lord, the God of Israel. This is what I have done when I saw in the plunder a beautiful robe from Babylonia. So, you know, from Babylonia. Remember, Babylonia, Babylon. We'll get to Babylon. Some of you may have heard of Daniel in the lion's den. That was in, in Babylon. Babylon. Two, when I saw this beautiful robe, 200 shekels of silver, and a bar of gold, a gold bar, ooh, weighing 50 shekels, I coveted them and took them. They are hidden in the ground in, inside my tent. So he actually buried them in the ground with the silver underneath. Uh, you know, uh, the Tenth Commandment, says do not covet you know what I now that I'm thinking of it to me I think coveting is an unusual thing you know you could seem normal and then you see something you know in this case a robe silver and gold and then you just become like a creature you're like Ugh. you know you have to see this movie the Lord of the Ring Lord of the Rings there's this Creature called uh, Schmiegel or Gullum. Whenever he sees the gold ring, he's like, Oh, my precious. Oh, I must have my precious. You know? <laughs> so, you know, when if a human looking person turns into, uh, you know, <laughs> it's funny, the 10th commandment, thou shalt not cover, covet thy neighbor's wife, you know. So maybe a long time ago in this group of people, you know, the Israelites, someone would be walking along and he sees someone's wife and he goes, turns into a creature. Ooh, I want to be your wife. He, she, the, my precious. You know, <laughs> there must be something wrong with these people. Uh, maybe even at the genetic level. You know, they could have some genetic garbage in them. So what do you do with someone like that? I guess God is very harsh, you know. He said, I want to kill the guy and burn him and get rid of those genetics. He's garbage. So Joshua sent messengers and they ran to the tent. And there it was hidden in his tent with the silver underneath. 
they took the things from the tent, brought them to Joshua, Yehoshua, and all the Israelites to see, and spread them out before the Lord. They're right there on the ground for everyone to see. These items that were are called devoted things, devoted things. Then Joshua, Yehoshua, together with all Israel, took Achan, or Achan, son of Zerah, the silver, the robe, the beautiful robe, the gold bar, his sons and daughters, his cattle, donkeys and sheep, his tent and all that he, ha he had to the valley of Achor, or Achor. Er, Joshua, or Yehoshua, said, Why have you brought this trouble on us? The Lord... Hold on, this will seem odd. Yes? Kadosh Malachi, at Kadosh Kasiba. Talk about what you said. I mean, what, what you said. What I said. Oh, okay. Just like the, they told me to include this, that in the Lord of the Rings movies, remember that ring actually had to be destroyed in Mount Mordor, in the lava down inside Mount Mor Mordor. So that ring of power is actually similar. It's like a devoted, devoted thing. It has to be destroyed, you know. Um, is that okay? Thank you. Joshua said, this is verse 25, Why have you brought this trouble on us? The Lord will bring trouble on you today. Then all Israel stoned him. They threw stones at him. And after they had stoned the rest, the rest of the people, his sons and daughters, cattle, donkeys, and sheep. They threw rocks at all of those living creatures. Then they burned them all in fire. Over Achan or Achan, they heaped up a large pile of rocks. And then they you know, put rocks on top of him, which remains to this day. Then the Lord, that is God, the Creator, Jesus, Spoiler alert, turned from his fierce anger. Therefore that place has been called the Valley of Achor, or Achor, ever since. Thank you for listening. This is a very intense, intense chapter. Seven of the, the book of Joshua, Yehoshua. Thank you for, uh, keep God first. So take your place. Someone sitting at the angle, you'll see two or three chins. One chin.